hello there welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we will try to discuss about class 2 elementary mathematics chapter 1 and the chapter name is numbers and we will try to solve the questions of page number 16 you know in my earlier lecture i mean in part 1 we were solve a lot of questions which is mentioned in page number 16 but now in this tutorial we will try to solve question number 10 and 11 so in question number 10 we can see the question is in a line of students Raton is eighth from the tail and there are nine more students in front of him and the question is how many students are there in a line and if we see question number 11 we can see that Akash is reading a book he is now reading the ninth page and there are seven more pages now the question is how many pages are in this book uh, so this the que questions uh, so first of all if we see what will be the solution of question number 10 and what will be the solution of question number 11 in my early lectures uh, you know that i always mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of questions any types of maths first of all you should read the questions again and again so that you can find and collect the data and then you can summarize or customize the questions very well and then you will uh, be able to solve the question very well so now we will try to solve question number 10 so you can see this is the answer to the question number 10 so in question number 10 if we try to see which types of data are mentioned here Rothon is 8 from the tail so there a number 8 can be seen and you can also see that there are 9 more students in front of him so 8 and 9 these are the real values which is mentioned in question number 10 so how can we customize or summarize this question so let's go to the board first of all in line uh, you can see you should write that including Rotten from behind there are 8 students and after that you should write that in front of Rathun there are a nine students and by reading the question you should mind it that it is a question or it is a problem of summation or addition so that's why you should write a plus sign here because the author was asked you to that how many students are there in a line so you should add these two numbers so that you can find the answer so that's why i write a plus sign here you will you also should write a plus sign whenever you will try to solve this question so in first line you should write that including rotten from behind there are eight students and after that you should write that in front of rotten there are nine students so now if we try to solve these questions by the help of our finger uh, if you will try to solve these questions by counting uh, by your fingers you can easily solve this question so after the finishing line of this math we should write that total is equal 17 students so how can we find this 17 if we add this 9 with this 8 you can easily find this 17 so the first thing which you should do that is you should use your finger and count them very smartly and then you can find this answer so after that you should write an answer of this question so the answer of this question will be that there are 17 students in the line and that's the solution of question number 10 so dear students i hope you all were able to understand this question and now we will try to solve question number 11 but before that we will try to see what is mentioned in question number 11 you can see the question is Akash is reading a book he is now reading the ninth page and there are seven more pages how many pages are in this book actually there has some word missing you can see is but maybe the right auxiliary verb there will be r so that's not our topic actually our 
question is that akash is reading a book he is now reading the ninth page and there are also nine pages so how many pages are present in that book so you can see there has two number that is nine and seven so these are the main values which is mentioned in this question so what we should do we should do that first of all we will try to collect this two number that is nine and seven and after that we will try to add those numbers and thus we can find our answer so now we will try to solve this question by 11 so let's go to the board and try to see what will be the solution of question number 11 First of all, you should write that Akash read 9 pages. Dear students, there you can see that R E A D read, but I pronounce it that read. Why? Actually, read is a present form, but read is a past form. Whenever you will be a student of class 6, that uh, on the time you will be able to learn about tense and then you can understand what is present tense past tense and future tense so actually these are r e a d read actually its pronoun its right pronouns will be read because in these questions in this particular questions it will be a past tense so that's why akash read nine pages and after that we should write that there are more seven pages actually it's the question or it is our problem of summarization it is a problem of addition and that's why you should write a plus sign here so that the examinee or the teacher we will see your paper or we will see the solution of your questions uh, so that you can uh, she or he can easily understand that what you are doing so in the first line you should write that Akasha read nine pages and then you should write there are more seven pages and obviously you should write a plus sign here and after that I mean in the final line you should write that total 16 pages so now if you have the question that how can we find this 16 so if you will try to count your finger that 9 plus 7 is equal what you can easily find the answer that 9 plus 7 is equal 16 so the answer of this question will be like that answer is equal 16 pages so that's the answer of our question number 11 and question number 10 so dear students i hope you all were able to understand the solution of question number 10 and question number 11 but yet if you have any type of questions any types of doubts or any types of problems so don't worry you can write me on the comment box below this video i will try to give you a feedback on the, your comment also you know regularly from this channel you can find a lot of educational videos so you can be connected with us if you want but those of you were continue this class and take a lot of knowledge from this class i want to give you a big thanks and thank you very much everyone for seeing this class hope we will be able to learn a lot of things in the next class so thank you very much everyone for seeing this class take care bye bye